Hi, um, so this is uh, Zarch. Um, I wanted to show off the project I've been working on for a little bit. Um, this is with the Mega Man Link PT and its chips. I made a device um, that is an Arduino with some P custom PCBs and some 3D printed parts. Um, essentially, it lets you take Link chips and insert them into it and essentially this is used to read the pinouts of these chips so like what their codes would be from their um, common common pin and what ones are connected to it um, it also lets you read the data of these link navi chips and these the data on here is held on to an eprom and that it just saves information um, so essentially this device can read it using the pins and can, uh, work with the program that I wrote. So I'm just going to show that off a little bit right now. Um, so we'll go ahead and plug in the device and load up the application. So as you can see, it's loading and searching for the device. Uh, if you had been watching, there was a little skip. Um, searching, which just gives you the application in a limited format to view and edit um, dumps of, of Navi chips. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and show you just the normal um, link battle chips. So we'll go ahead and insert one of them and we'll go ahead and check it out. So this detect just checks out which what kind of chip it is and as long as it's not a Navi chip it will search through a database that's currently incomplete uh, I need to finish it, but it'll search through that database and display the information that I have in it about chips. So we're gonna go ahead and do one more. And this is just basic information there. So we'll go ahead and try out a Navi chip. So this is a Mega Man Navi chip. Um, what currently is on here is not Mega Man. Um, I don't remember which one I have the last on it, but, uh, we'll go ahead and insert it. Sometimes it takes one or two tries to read correctly. Uh, but right now it's searching for, or reading the data right now. That's why it took a little bit longer. So we'll go to on here. And, uh, as you can see, we have ground man. We have obviously not a ground man sprite there. Um, but this is just the information that we currently know about that's on the chips. Uh, this includes the lock, which is what um, determines if that Navi chip belongs to your Link PET or not. Uh, changing this or resetting this will um, affect whether affect that. Um, so you can take this if this is like yours and read in a new chip that is not bound to your Link PET and. Um, paste it in there and write it, and then it'll belong to yours. Uh, we have your operator name, um, which is currently displayed, both these are displayed in hex format. And then we have your level, XP, HP. This is uh, by tens, I don't display it like the PET does currently. And then we have your sprites. Uh, currently, I don't know what this sprite is to. I've never seen it on the link, so I can't say what it is. Uh, we, have, we have the cross sprite, we have the loose sprite, and we have the wind sprite. Although, obviously, you can tell that this one's not quite right. But we'll go ahead and enable advanced mode, which lets you edit all the fields. And we'll go ahead and change the cross sprite to kind of dis demonstrate what uh, can be done. So we're going to click this BMP file. Uh, this is a raw dump from it. They use, this is a 32 by 32 image. Um, BMP uh, that I accept, uh, but what happens is that they don't take use the f the whole image. They're actually 30 by 30s that are actually used, and then they're rotated and flipped. Um, that and the ones that I display here are what you would see on the the PET. So we'll go ahead and open it, and you can see that we have Charge Man, his wind sprite on the cross sprite uh, option. So we'll go ahead and click write, and it will take a second, and then it'll be written to it. We'll also just go ahead and try and play around with uh, one of the values. 
So let's put in uh, let's put in 255, which is the maximum value that you can put in for a one byte value. But obviously, this is way over what the PT actually ends up having. Go ahead and write it again, and it should be written. And just in case, we'll go ahead and detect the chip again. That's what I was a little worried about. <laughs> no, it looks like everything wrote just fine. Just had an issue trying to detect again. So we'll go ahead and take it out. And we'll go ahead and insert it into my PET. So insert it, you see ground man. Then he'll cross and we should see Charge Man's wind sprite show up. And we do. So that's a demonstration of the changing of the sprites. So we'll go ahead and go back. And we'll go ahead and pull up the information about him. And we should, yep, still see him. So there's the 100 HP. And then there's the 255 AT or attack. Um, this can be used for a lot more. Um, this is just a basic demonstration of it and most people are using it to restore their um, rarer chips or just their chips in general be or their Navi chips in general because over time the EEPROMs go bad, lose the data sometimes or get corrupted by time or just the PT writes bad data which is, happens a lot more than you'd think. Um, and this just lets them fix it. Uh, a good amount of people have it uh, right now in one of these. Uh, I, I don't remember how many, maybe, I think less than 20. But for me, that's a pretty good amount. <laughs> um, they're pretty hard to make right now. Uh, I'm hoping to get a better design that's easier to put together. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to show it off, and hopefully you guys like it. Um, a lot more is to come. We found how to edit um, Navi names last night, so we're one step closer to fully custom Navis. The only thing that we might, that we need to figure out if we can, is um, changing the main sprite that shows up for the Navis, which right now I believe is stored in the ROM of the PET. So that's something that we can't really access. But hopefully maybe there's a workaround for it, uh, but we'll find out. So thanks for watching. Hopefully the little mess ups right here aren't too bad. Uh, it normally doesn't happen, but obviously I'm recording. So it's got to happen. Uh, have a nice day.